How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to be demonstrating how I go about mass deleting direct messages that I have with people on Discord. So as you might be aware, when you create a direct message with somebody on Discord, you can remove that conversation from your history list here by clicking the X. But if that person ever contacts you again or you send them a message, it's going to pop up here with your previous history. It doesn't actually close or delete any of that information. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and actually delete all of these messages that we send. Now we could do it the old fashioned way of clicking on the little menu icon here, three dots, and then click delete. I mean, this does work, but the thing is, most likely you'll have conversations that you now wish to delete that have hundreds, if not thousands of messages in them. These are private conversations that may have taken place over multiple years at this point on Discord. And there is really no easy way to do this with Discord's built-in functionality. So as per usual, whenever I go about looking for solutions to a problem that I have, I usually search around and see if anybody else has encountered and solved that problem. And I was in luck on the Discord subreddit uh, someone named SC Bones 306 actually ran into this problem themselves and they created an auto hotkey script. Now, I personally think this auto hotkey script is the best way to solve this because it is really simple. I've seen a couple of other auto hotkey scripts at this point, but they've all been more complex. This one's really simple for somebody who has never even used auto hotkey before to understand and implement correctly. So we're going to be using this code right here. But first, we're going to need to go ahead and download AutoHotKey from AutoHotKey.com. It is open source automation software. So just click the download hotkey in auto hotkey installer, navigate to your downloads directory and go ahead and follow all the prompts to successfully install it. OK, so now that we have installed auto hotkey, we're going to need to create a script. And the way we go about doing this is right clicking inside the directory or folder that you wish the script to be in, going to new and then choosing auto hotkey script. And we'll name this one delete discord dm now we will need to edit this so select it and right click it again and select edit script you can leave all of the preamble here all this text at the top that's fine we're just going to enter in the text from the reddit post below this uh, the link to this reddit post by the way will be included in the description below this video so you can check it out and copy the text straight from there so i'm going to go ahead and copy that switch back over to our new script and just paste it right in there and I'm going to briefly step you through what all of this does. The first command here will activate the script when you press Control and then J. And then it loops here for 100 cycles. So it'll loop the following commands. All these send commands will loop them for 100 times. You can automate this. You can change it. If you only want to delete the last 50 messages, you could delete 100 and put in 50. Uh, maybe you have 500 messages. It'll loop for 500 messages. So we're just going to put uh, loop 20 here. And after that, these are the commands that allow it to automatically delete messages in Discord. So the first is a shortcut called up. This presses the up key on your keyboard and you'll see why. I'm just gonna bring up Discord over here alongside the note. So here we go. Uh, when you're in Discord, I'm gonna show you, you press up. It will bring up the last message that you sent for editing. Then the script presses control A to select all of that. It then presses backspace to get rid of that message. It then presses enter and asks you, do you want to delete this message? And it presses enter again, and that message is successfully deleted. And then it sleeps for 500 milliseconds, so it's half a second, to give it a little bit of time to actually uh, register with the server, and then it loops it all over again. So it's really simple. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and save this file now. We're going to navigate back to that directory where, where we created the script, and then Click, right click it and click run script. And now you'll see here in the lower right hand corner of your taskbar, uh, right there's auto hotkey and it says it's currently running delete discord DM. So now we want to focus on the conversation in discord that we want to delete. And remember the uh, magic key here to start the script is control J. And just stand back and watch as all of your previous message history is automatically erased. This is really simple. Uh, the one downside, of course, is that at the moment it only works with Windows. They're deleted uh, the last 20 messages. Like I said before, you can adjust it to 500 messages, 1,000 messages, whatever it is that you need. Now, it should be noted that while it will erase your message history, it will not erase the message history of the person that you communicated with. So 
uh, it will basically leave a conversation that is half in nature. So you will still be able to see their messages. They'll still be able to see their messages, but your messages will all be gone. So obviously this is a bit of a compromising situation. Still, it doesn't completely erase the entirety of the conversation that you had, but it erases all of your input into that conversation. And it does so relatively easily. I've been successful in deleting months worth of messages in the space of just a few minutes using this script when normally it would take me hours probably to do that. This works much better than anything else that I've tried up to this point. Just a couple of caveats here. If this isn't working for you, I should make note that I'm currently running Windows 10 and this is the desktop client. So if you're running Discord in a browser or something or on a different operating system, it might not perform quite the same for you. I'm not sure and I cannot attest to whether or not that will work. Just keep that in mind when you are trying to do this because I have a very specific environment set up in which I am performing this in. So I hope that helped you out when it comes to managing your conversations on Discord. Like I said before, the link to that script that I used here will be included in the description below. It's to a Reddit post made by another very helpful user. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.